what's up YouTube back another video notice I did not say back with another focus ST video because this video is for anybody that has Android Auto in their car uh, Android Auto is fantastic Apple CarPlay is fantastic I've never used Apple CarPlay before um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I, need, I need to do that I need to do that anyways I'm getting off so what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to play YouTube videos on your screen this is the screen right here that we're gonna do it in I'm in a 2016 Ford Focus ST uh, 2016 model year vehicle it's running sync 3 version 3.0 so keep that in mind version 3.0 um version 2.0 also has i mean all of the sync 3 systems have android auto so this will work with any of them but that's what i'm running now if you have a different car uh, android auto runs a little differently on other cars so you know your experience with watching the youtube videos and stuff may be a little different than mine um I know Hyundai vehicles, Android Auto works really well on Hyundai vehicles. So, but that's besides the point. So I'm going to show you how to get the videos on there. I was not, I did not find this by myself. I was sent this on Instagram, a guy DM me, show me how to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You know who you are, my dude. I actually put it on Instagram in my story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't even know. You're just so out of the loop. That was like three weeks ago. So... I put in my story, my dude, thank you so much. You helped me out with that. That was so cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. Now, what you need are two apps. It's an app called CarStream, and you need the Android Auto app. Let's go ahead and download those now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and download everything onto my phone. I am using a OnePlus 5T, just to be tr completely transparent. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe that up, and we're gonna go ahead and access the Play Store, and we're gonna go and download the Android Auto app boom android auto this is why you should have a small phone because you can use it better with one hand so we're gonna go ahead and download the android auto app right here and then you're gonna go to chrome let's let that download we're gonna go to chrome open up the website uh it's already down here you, you know at the top you're gonna be it's gonna look like this when you first open up the website go to the go to the description the link in the description stop talking so fast go to the link in the description and uh scroll all the way down well first get rid of this right there scroll all the way down till you see the version that you need version 1.8.3 download that sucker too my Bluetooth is now connected um, download that once that finishes we're gonna go ahead and open this up and install now um, you may have to go into your Android uh, security settings and go ahead and click on download uh, from unknown sources. I've already done all of that stuff. So if you if if it won't download then that's what you have to do Go into your security settings. So let's go ahead and I'll show you here the app car stream And then you have your Android Auto app now. Let's go ahead and open up the Android Auto app first We're gonna go ahead and get started click continue allow all of these here Continue once again, we're going to make Android Auto the uh, give it access to notifications um, No, thanks for that now we're just doing all of this so that we can go ahead and have Android Auto set up and then you're going to click the hamburger menu here you want to click on about now you want to actually enable the developer settings in Android Auto and by doing so you have to tap about Android Auto a bunch of times it's almost like enabling developer settings uh, in actual Android itself So we're going to go here click on developer settings scroll all the way down to unknown sources now mine is already checked because I've done this before when you uninstall apps it still saves a lot of the stuff from the app so it's all still uh, checked but for yours it's not going to be checked now that's done here oops excuse me now that's done there so we're going to go ahead I'm just going to show you what the car stream app looks like well actually I guess you should go ahead and open it up and do um what the heck video is that and do uh allow here allow here boom so this is what the car this is what the app looks like right there now we're gonna what we're gonna do is uh, get off of this stop Android Auto go away exit all right now let's plug our phone up here to the car since we already set up Android Auto on the phone we shouldn't have to go through any setup process in the car I believe you might have to but I don't know so yeah oh talk to Google Assistant that's so awesome okay Google Oh, oh shoot. Okay, stop, 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 stop listening to me. So, what you want to do now is go ahead and click on this. Oh, what you want to do is click right here. Right here in this little corner right there. That's what you usually use to go back to sync and stuff. But boom, now you have car stream. Boom, pow. I understand. Now, everything you just saw me looking at down there is on here. And we have, I don't know, Judge Judy versus Feminist. What is what is this random junk that be popping up? I'm just scrolling, honestly. This is what the interface looks like. I'm, I'm just scrolling. Let, let's just watch this ad. Every four years, you get all inspired by someone doing the impossible. With Google Home Mini, you can just say, Hey Google, where's the closest? 
Sorry for making much of the Google Home ad. I love my Google Home Mini, by the way, just getting all the way off topic. So this is what the interface looks like. You have your home here. You have your refresh at the top. Hopefully you can see everything. You have your mic here, which you, which gives you like a Google Assistant type thing here. And I get off of that. Stop listening to me. Uh, you have a search here, which is a search for YouTube itself. Um, and then get off of that. And then you have your search here, which is a search for Google. It's actually a Google search. And if you're playing a video, like we can start this ad again. Uh, you click this, it will actually make the video full screen. It's Google Home Mini. Now. Google Home Mini. Uh, yes, they did sponsor me. I'm just kidding. They did not. So, we're going to click on this here, and then uh, that's just kind of your bookmarks. On your phone, you can go to, go to the web browser on the phone, the CarStream app. Use the web browser, and you can make little bookmarks. I've already tried Twitch. I cannot get Twitch to work for nothing maybe it'll work for you but it does not work for me you have your internal storage also so you have uh screenshots and all this crazy stuff here <laughs> movies instagram well, instagram videos oh shoot that's a video i made so anyways so yeah you can watch all this stuff that's on your phone you can, it, it's pretty dang on cool man there's a lot of different stuff you can do with it so we're gonna go ahead and go back your time's actually right there i've never noticed a time right there i don't know when that was added but that's pretty cool what up? It's that sheet. so if you look at this right here if you look at his lips his lips are kind of on so like i was saying with some with some videos uh your mileage may vary your car whatever however your android auto works because in this car sometimes the lips are off sometimes the lips are on right now they're pretty on but you know it just changes every now and then it just kind of it, it just kind of changes i don't think it's the app's fault i think it's more of the android auto and the processing and all that stuff that's done inside the car you click on this clicking on this will not do anything i don't even think it's even plays you actually have to go back into um the setting and watch it so you just click on that and uh you're back in there and it starts right where you even left off too it's pretty cool Let's so that is how you can go ahead and watch YouTube videos in your car through Android Auto. Um, it also does work with, of course, the videos that are stored on your phone. So that's how you can do all that stuff, too. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for showing me uh, to that dude. Thank you so much for showing me, man. And I will see you guys later. Follow me on Instagram if you don't because I be posting some stuff in the store. Sometimes it'd be cool. Sometimes it'd be funny. Sometimes it'd be stupid. I mean, I just post whatever. It's not always car related stuff. I'm not a super, I'm not a, I'm not a hundred percent car nerd like that. So I post all kinds of stuff in my Instagram stories. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you uh, later. Go.